Now this place looks exciting, I hear you say. Plenty of opportunities to miss dead people. Uh, there's definitely some around here. Now if we do a full exploration, we'll probably find everybody. So let's drop down here first. Ooh, goblins! Howdy, goblins. Let's test. Goblin. Now, with the lesser creatures like goblins and stuff, we can actually do lots of... Uh, ow! Did you just throw a grenade at me, you little prick? Luckily, I can heal. La, la, la. As you can see, it does make life a little bit easier. I really thought there'd be dead people back here. Whoop. Not that. Aha! But he might drop plot. It's always a risk. Oh no, he his, his was a light magic gem. You get the idea how this works. Green ones give you health. Blue ones give you uh, uh, the healing magic stuff. And spoilers, the other type will give you the, the attack magic stuff. Which is no real surprise. Push A to tree. This is A, right? Yeah. Bloody has boss controllers. That seemed incredibly pointless. Uh, I feel we should go the other way. This is not the other way. Excuse me while I drop down. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go backtrack slightly, just to see what's on the other direction. It might be nothing, and this might be a huge waste of time, or it could be some gems. But it never hurts to look around. There is, in fact, no timers and no rush. Plus, the game's very pretty to look at. This is where, of course, it's a complete dead end, and I've ruined everything, and I'm sorry. It probably just leads to the same place. Four goblins! Now we can try the, the heavy attack, as you can see it does a bit more damage. And generally looks cooler. Oh, there's something! Oh, well that's just not on. What I really want to do is not get caught by any of the... Whee! Any of the grenades or anything. Ow! Who said you could attack me while I was doing stuff? No one, that's who. Slap. I mean, the normal vampire killer whip is like, uh, obviously a whip whip. This seems a bit more vicious because it's like a metal -y thing, which is nasty. Hmm, well. This looks roughly the same place as where we're heading, so whatever. But we got the light gem by going that way. So, all is well in the world. Until I realise I missed the body at the bottom of the uh, ravine or whatever. Whoop. Sweet. There is a body up here, though. Thank you kindly. Please don't give me plot. No, not plot! God is punishing us for our sins. The world is in chaos and we will all die soon, trapped in limbo between heaven and earth. No chance of redemption, no means of escape. I am badly wounded and the lichens can smell my blood. They are hunting me. My fate is imminent. Dear Lord, forgive me. Cardinal Volb sent us all to our deaths, and for what? I and my fellow warriors lie broken and lost by the wayside. Damn it in his futile quest. He and the elders should also be suffering for their sins. I mean, why don't you tell us how you really feel about that, dude? Ah, this is where we would have come up, I think. Yeah. Call me paranoid, but it's always... There's, yeah, there's the tree and stuff. Okay, well. It didn't hurt having a look. Whoop. There is... Like, you can't... There's lots of invisible walls in this place, so usually, the, for the most part, as long as you're uh, heading in the right... sort of along the right path, you can't go too wrong. As you can see, I can't even jump down there. But I can, however, go up here and smash this obviously smashable thing. Smash! Future archaeologists are going to hate you, Gabriel. Oh, sweet. What's here? I hear you say. Plot! Boo! Oh wait, a focus scroll? What is a focus scroll? Combat focus is an ancient technique from the Brotherhood of Light. Once fully focused, a capable warrior can extract neutral elements and orbs from his enemies after each successful hit. So basically, fight well, do get better. Beep beep. And you can fill the focus orb by doing the blocks, really, which is nice. 
Light all the runes by hitting enemies and avoiding damage. Success! That's it. Now maintain your focus and the enemies will drop neutral enemies or hubs after each successful hit, allowing you to maintain your magic supplies. As you can see, this thing is dropping them all over the friggin' shop. Not that I need any healing. Oh, but if you do that, you can actually fill up the entire bar quite easily, which is super nice. Oh, that's not good. However, that doesn't count as a hit, so get off my face. Oh, the glowy ones are the bad ones. Note to self. Whoop. Well, he dead. Luckily, this uh, ancient gate is now accessible, which it obviously wasn't before. I don't think there's any more dead people here. Oh! Oh, is there a way to destroy this barrier, I hear you saying? What if one of these lovely people had a grenade? Oh, that's not a grenade. Ah, how about you'll probably drop one if I beat you. Marvellous. Excuse me, need a grenade. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. Right, all of you now can die, one by one, with a big flurry of blood, because it's fun. Whee! Splat! Bonk! Gabriel does not fuck around when it comes to violence. He's like... King Gore. Come here, you! Blech! Man, Rick from Splatterhouse would be proud, Gabriel. Gotta be honest. Well, wasn't that marvellous? Hello. Guess who else needs a slap? You, sir! Boom! Wow, everyone needs a slap. Oh, slapping is great. Whoop! Crunch. Thanks. Well, this is grand. Get daggered. Oh, get daggered. Lucky they have their little health bars that sort of give them away, otherwise this, they could sneak up on me. Right, well, clearly there are multiple routes around here. Aha! Which means we should shoot for dead people. Oh god, plot. Damn you! The Great Deku? Is it Deku? Eh. Was once the largest- Yeah, it is the Great Deku, as in Deku Tree. Cool. Was the most gorgeous tree in the forest. It was so tall that its canopy could be seen from many miles away. Some people even believe that it was alive, and that its magical power protected the forest from the attacks of dark creatures. I don't know if the legends were real, but the truth is that the Dark Lords, maybe seeing the tree as a symbol of life, cursed it with a plague, and that still remains alive beneath its dead stump. Well, that was rude of them. There's just no need for that kind of plague now, and uh, general cursory, is there? I think these laws of shadow don't seem very nice. I can't put my finger on it, but there's just something about them that seems a bit dodgy. Oh, do we want to go in there? Nah, we want to go around, probably. This looks exciting. Whee! Whoop! Most ass backwards way of getting anywhere. Oh, we want to go into the stump. Is there no goodies here? Well, into the Great Deku we go then. Whee! You completed the Enchanted Forest. We got one of the gems, we didn't actually miss any. That was great. The Underground Caves. He is becoming stronger with every step he takes. His prowess in battle is undeniable. He will need it now. Goblins are one thing. But there are other creatures in the dark places of the world, creatures who know nothing of his plight, but fight for their very survival. Many fallen brothers are testament to this. Indeed, their bleached bones adorn the tortuous tunnels in this godforsaken place. He runs ever onward into peril. I wonder who the prey is, and who is the hunted. Perhaps when the time comes, these creatures will know fear as they look into the eye of their quarry. Go, my friend. Save your love. Oh, Patrick, I wish you could just narrate everything forever. Well, we're in the tree, which supposedly is still alive. Doesn't look very alive. Also, it looks like there's spiders here. You all like spiders, right? Don't do what I did the first time, just drop. I think it's uh, a good way of snuffing it. Oh no, this looks bad. It's a giant spider. Hello. That is also a monstrous spider. Look at that bad boy. 
Seriously, he's huge. Gabriel notices everything, but doesn't notice a huge spider clearly making a lot of noise. Oh, there we go. Please stop that. Oh, I have to push buttons to stop this. Stop that. Get slapped. Get away from me, you freak. Mm -hmm. Right, these things shoot goo. Goo is bad. It's bad for your health. And no one needs to be gooed. The spiders really don't muck around, by the way. They're pretty nasty, so we're going to try and avoid... ...if at all possible. Ooh, look at that, see? He's, he's a quick boy. He doesn't really care for that. Ah! So if we get poison, we need to heal, up, heal it off. Which is, uh... Roots, at least. Well, he dead. Good. Get used to giant spiders, by the way. It is Castlevania, after all. Would you not be disappointed otherwise? Can we go down? Haha, <laughs> we cannot go down. There could have been goodies, the bomb. There wasn't. My bad. Luckily, death uh, doesn't give you a setback, followed by diddle diddle doo Guess what's in here? Gribblers! What kind of gribblers? A dead one, that's who. Pop! Smash! Bonk! I'm gonna grab you a gribble in the air, and then I'm gonna miss entirely. I'm gonna grab a gribble in the air, and then I'm gonna beat you up. Ow. No one said you could do that. Oh, hello, giant spider. Well, I can't concentrate if there's gribblers and spiders, so go away, hairless bears, for I need to slay you. Okay, spider is upset. Understandably, it's fine. Just gonna get some health back. Oh, Lycan suffered for the spider there. Oops. We need some more sub weapons. Uh, less less spider uh, friendly. If you attack the spider, he's blocking. I think he uh, gets a bit upset with you. Understandably. Can I grab you, spider? No, Gabriel's like, I ain't grabbing that thing. You seen the fucking size of it? Ooh. Got good. Haha, <laughs> too slow. He dead. He dead. Nice. Well, there are two ways to go. One is presumably going to lead me to a gem, and the other is going to lead me the wrong way. So, let's... Let's uh, investigate, shall we? These caves look very uh, nasty, don't they? Uh, balancing on spider's webs. Don't worry, I'm a master of balance. Whoop, whoop. Oh, hello. Please don't give me plot. Man. Although they are big, spiders are surprisingly quick and agile. I've heard a skilled warrior may even tame one to a certain degree. If it ties enough, and ride it like a warthog. Spider mount? I've also heard that their webs can be used to weave bridges strong enough to bear the weight of a grown man. Incredible! Perhaps I'm losing my wits stuck in this infernal place. It must be crazy to believe such a thing. No, not crazy, for soon. Soon we get plot. Uh. Both those ways look fairly viable. I think it's pretty easy to get lost, let lost around here, so... This might lead back to the other direction. If it does, when well, we know where we're going at least. I know. Hey, look, this is a thing that we need to upgrade our thing for that we can't do yet. So don't worry about the thing. Ah, a door. If only there's a way to blow this barrier up. Like goblins. Thanks, goblins. Luckily, every single goblin comes equipped with a grenade, which I can now throw at the door. Fuck you, Indiana Jones. You ain't get nothing from me. Oops. Sorry, that was some pointless goblin murder there. Didn't need to kill you, but, you know, I'm gonna. Thanks. Now you guys can die. You'll stop spawning now. Vicious. Well, I mean, I gotta see what's behind the exploding door, haven't I? 
I see dead people! Oh no, a runic stone key. Looks like I got things to find. Howdy! Do you mind? Absolutely not. Get out of it. I'm going to throw some daggers at you. What are you going to do about it? Nothing, that's what. To be honest, the daggers aren't actually that bad. And they're freebies. Do I need to ride you? Nah, you're not a rideable one. You don't have the buttons. You're just a dead one. Well, got me one runic key, which is uh, lovely. Let's go find the next one, shall we? Ah. There's a man over there. Do you have a runic key, sir? Oh. Oh, yeah. You gotta actually balance. I actually have to do this, by the way. If I if I have to balance up, then, uh, you know, bad times. Do you have a key? No, yes, plot. Oh, useless plot. Everywhere I turn, there is death and decay. God has deserted us. I have abandoned my quest. It is hopeless. I don't want to die, to end up like my fellow brothers, fallen by the wayside, destined to be a resource for some other adventurer. I don't want to be that to my fate. Well, luckily you weren't a resource, you were just a useless plot, man, so, you know, count your chickens. Right, I think we need to go back to the main room and head in the other direction. But, I can't remember where the main room is, so we'll just wing it and see what happens. This looks very main roomy. I think this is the way to, uh, this is the two key place. Yeah. There's the other dead guy up there, so we need to work our way around. This looks promising. Stop it, Gabriel. Now, we can just work our way around. We can solve any problem we put our minds to. Whoop. Ooh, more dead people. Please be helpful. No! All of you are plot! All of you are rubbish. I've been following the trail of Rinaldo Gandolfi, famed alchemist and fellow of the Brotherhood of Light. I don't know what drove him to leave the Order or indeed why he disappeared into the wilderness, but we can certainly use his skills in this dark time, that's for sure. It is said he created many magical weapons and relics that he hides them in hard to find places where only the most committed and deserving may stumble upon them. I am both committed, committed reasonably and deserving, so... Well, we're back here again. Bogus. Uh, what about down this way? That was a death hole. That's not what I wanted to do. Good work. We just need to go the other direction now. I just don't remember exactly where the other direction is. Whee! I think this takes us back to the entrance of the cave, which is okay. Because I can sort of backtrack a little bit from there. Yep, so we're going to go back the same way we went, which is here. And then it scoots us back. <laughs> Come on, Gabriel. Damn, this cave needs a friggin' bridge. I wonder how the goblins get around. Must be a bad time to be a goblin. Then we can scoot across the lovely spider's web. It's really nice of them to make these webs. I need to tame one, basically. Aha! So now we go this way. Perfect, look at that, mad skills. Of course we've upset the local spider populace, but you know, we, what would we be doing if we wouldn't? Ow! You suck. I was trying to counter you and you just ruined everything. Lucky you were quite slow. I mean, you're big and fast, but not big, big, big fast. Yep, see? That's what I'm talking about. You're too obvious with your movements. Get daggered. Oh, this one wasn't tired enough either. Right. Was there any goodies over here? In this sort of collection of nothing? Nope. In which case, we should just progress upwards. And this way will hopefully take us to the other key that we need. This place isn't overly complicated, it's just long, to be honest. I remember absolutely hating this cave system when I first fought. I had a lot of trouble with the spiders. 
uh, when I first played this. But this time, not so bad. Yoink. Ooh. Oops. Uh, let's try again. Yoink. Ooh. Now this will hopefully be the second thing we need. Yep. In which case, we've got both bits, and now we can leave. I will place key number one, magically. Ancient civilizations always leave magical keys around. Fucking awkward. You guys need to learn get a locksmith or something. Open sesame. Guess what? New power up. Whoop whoop. It's not very exciting. Don't get too don't get too excited. I'm not. Hey, this one's been broken in exactly the same way as the last one. What are the chances? Yay! Seriously, it's it's all very dramatic, but it's uh, it's not a great. If it's the upgrade, I think it is. It's not very exciting anyway. See, that looks awesome. Less so. He built two different chains for the combat cross, and this one was never approved by the Brotherhood, for obvious reasons. The elders thought that the spikes were too cruel for the holy nature of the weapon. However, instead of destroying it, the arson hid the links in one of the mausoleums of the Order, believing that one day it might be needed. With the spike chain, the combat cross can be used to soar through obstacles and to tame dangerous creatures. There you go. So, we can actually go back and use it on some bits. Should we need to. And also, like, like here, for example. And, oops. Sorry. You gotta sort of let you let go, you push up, down, up, and this all like soars through the rock, which is kind of a cool idea. We now we go. The underground caves have been done. We missed the gem because the gem is behind that big whirly thing earlier. Again, we could go back and get it should we need to, and I probably will at some point. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it so far. Next, we're going to the labyrinth entrance. Ooh, spooky. The stages are quite weird, not all of them are very long, some of them are much longer than others, like that was quite a long stage, uh, whereas some of the others are like almost like a minute or two long, it's quite strange. But anyway, I will bid you adieu here, thank you so much for watching, and again if you've enjoyed it please leave me comments, let me know, hit the like button, oh no, I, I, I almost did that thing, I was say, hit like and subscribe, um, but yeah, do that if you actually like it, because it does actually really help. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time, bye bye.